Welcome back. The Great Lakes are vital for millions of people who rely on them for water, of course, but also tourism and transportation. So we have to keep an eye on the health of Lake Michigan and, of course, the other Great Lakes. Stephen Gowen is live in Cleveland, and there's a big effort on Lake Erie now to study water quality, water quality that is in new ways. Tell us about it, Stephen. That's right. Researchers have been using technology for years to try to understand what's going on in the lake, but they are adding to those efforts every day because it is a never-ending job. At Ohio's northern shore, you find Lake Erie, the smallest of the Great Lakes by volume, and the shallowest as well. Still, despite its size, it's one of the most studied bodies of fresh water in the world. And because we're building such a large umbrella of telecommunications coverage over the lake, we can enable innovators from all over the world to come here and try all their technologies. The lake slowly turning into a floating laboratory of sorts with an ever-expanding network of sensors and digital tools like these environmental monitoring smart buoys. So with technology getting smaller, lighter, and easier to deploy, we can put more of these sensors out. We set off with a team from the Cleveland Water Alliance as they deployed two new buoys this week, adding to a network of more than 20 others already being used to monitor the lake. It is important to measure waves for boaters. It's important to measure winds and currents for um, search and rescue operations as well. We're most interested in some of the water quality conditions of the lake. And as they measure temperature, waves, and water quality in real time, experts say these buoys can also act as an early warning system for public health officials. These buoys are actually uh, enabling us to get sensors in place that will detect things like E. coli, harmful algal bloom, for years, the National Weather Service has used similar technology to monitor the oceans. Now it's here on a smaller scale to keep an eye on Lake Erie. Now, Lake Erie provides water for about 11 million people, the Great Lakes as a whole, a lot more than that. And experts say the more technology we have out here monitoring the conditions, the better treatment plans can make sure the water stays drinkable. In Cleveland, Stephen Gowen, Fox 32 Chicago. Thank you.